Today we're going to be making squishies and then painting them. Let's get started. To make the squishies, you need to use Flex Foam It 3. You can buy this on Amazon. Because of the chemicals in the Flex Foam, we're going to have our mom help us make them. So when you buy the Flex Foam, it comes with two of the Part B and one Part A. And we'll be mixing them together with a two to one ratio to get our foam. You can mix a little bit different ratios to see how you want them. We learned if we put slightly more B, then we'd get a more slow rising foam. We recommend gloves, which I put in here. They don't come with because there are chemicals. You do want to have glove protection and open some windows for ventilation. So this is just a container we had. You can use any container you want. Just be consistent with it. I'm first going to do the two scoops of B. And I have a popsicle stick here to help me make sure I get everything out before I do the second scoop for accurate measuring. So make sure you have wet paper towels on hand to clean out the scoop before you add the A, because as soon as the A chemicals touch the B, it will start to react and you won't have much time to work. Also make sure you now clean the sides of the container really well and put the lid on before it dries out. But be very careful because we have had problems with the lid sticking, especially on solution A. Okay, next up is solution A. We are down to the very last part of this container as we've used it a lot and it actually started drying up on the inside a little bit. So we do have some hard chunks to work around and this was even with it sealed with a Ziploc bag over it. So be very careful with storing it securely and airtight. Okay, so here's our two scoops of solution B. Here's solution A. I'm going to mix this in, and now I have to work very quickly. I'm gonna make sure I have it all out of the scoop. Set that aside, and now I have 10 to 15 seconds to vigorously stir and get this chemical reaction going. I'll start with this car. This is from a kinetic sand kit and it's not quite as flexible. So you don't need much because they expand 15 times their original amount poured. It's kind of a guessing game because as you go along it already starts expanding within there. It's important not to try to mess with them or touch them or fix them because they're already doing their thing now, so just leave it be and watch them rise. Here's how they turned out after 30 minutes. Now we're gonna peel them. They kinda turned out a little shriveled since we didn't have enough A solution. This hasn't really happened before, but if you just squish them a little bit, they will go back to their form. It's important to let them rise for a full 30 minutes before you try to peel them out. You can use puppy paint or fabric paint. We got ours from Hobby Lobby. The reason you use fabric paint is so it sticks to the squishy, and if you use any other paint, it will kind of just peel off. But this one makes it really good and really shiny like these. Now let's paint. For 
for my cupcake bottoms, this color, I did two coats of this and I used this metallic gold that I got from Hobby Lobby. You can also glue two squishies together with fabric fusing. So it's been a while since we painted the squishies because we forgot to make an ending. But here's how they all turned out. These squishies are mine. These ones are mine. These ones are mine. I made a couple different flash squishies. I made a few different flowers. And a bunch of different types of cupcakes. This one is my personal favorite because it's super shiny. I made a car and it has a little road at the bottom of it, which I thought was kind of cute. And these ones are fabric paint in a spray bottle. So instead of just painting them on, you actually spray the paint on and they look really cool. Uh, mine are going the dark squishies. Should we test it out? Mm-hmm. Let's go. There we are. I made two cupcakes and two hearts. These two only went halfway through, so I glued them together. I decided to paint it to look like an ice cream sandwich. This one's my favorite. It's slow rising. Uh -huh. We hope you enjoy learning how squishies are made. Make sure to like. And subscribe. And turn on your post notifications. We'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.